Good morning, everybody. It is 13 minutes past 7 o'clock right now, and time to find out what you can catch in Des Moines after a huge celebration in the Ankeny area last night. Greg Edwards is joining us in studio right now. How are you, sir? Good. You survived last night. Survived, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Uh, these were our masters of ceremonies last night. Yeah, here, here's what we did. Third year in a row. I Hi, think. everybody. We're Lou and Jackie. Here's Angela Connolly. <laughs> here's everybody else. No, we appreciate uh, you thinking of us because you truly do highlight the best of the best uh, when it comes to our community. You always move the event around to kind of the hot spot. And yeah. of course, uh, the Prairie Trail of Ankeny. Really cool gorgeous really spot. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the future home of the World uh, Chili. World Chili Championships, Championships coming up in another next week. weekend. You so bet. it yeah. is fun to see how that space is really coming alive and what you guys do. And of course, just talking about the campaign. We have some images we can roll uh, from last night to kind of highlight what happened at the annual celebration. If we're able to kind of just go through those uh, quickly. Showing you Prairie Trail, showing you the food the crowd, uh, yes, the shirts uh, that we're wearing today. That was a fun souvenir from last night. Um, you had amazing music and people just truly coming together, business owners, Max. you know. Mm. Entrepreneurs, uh, hotels, obviously restaurants, things like that. You really wanted to highlight what makes our uh, community great, and uh, we appreciate that. If we can roll through uh, the award winners last night, really quickly, uh, Greg, just talk about uh, who you were highlighting uh, last night, part of the program. You bet. Every year we honor our catch champions. There's Chris Coleman, who we honored, who will be stepping down from the uh, Des Moines BBB, City Council. Yeah. Uh, he's CEO of the BBB and. Uh, just a great guy. He's been on our board for 20 years. He's just done a lot of incredible things for yeah. us through the years. Um, that's uh, Brad Winterbottom with the West Bank. West Bank, West Bank was uh, one of our featured. Uh, they've helped us tremendously during AAU Junior Olympic Games last summer. Yes. A bunch of volunteers and what have you. Um, Exile Brewing won yep. um, as our partner champion. Our sport champion uh, this year was Drake uh, University. Drake University, who partners with us on so many things. USA yeah, Track and Field, AAU, Junior Olympics, on and on and on. NCAA, men's basketball, they were our partner. Absolutely. Also comes down to some amazing hotels, uh, Marriott Downtown. Marriott Hotel won our Spirit of Hospitality. Love it. Our Visitor Choice Awards this year, Attraction of the Year was Adventureland. Uh, Hotel of the Year was Embassy Suites Downtown. Yep. And the Restaurant of the Year. Central. Surprising. Central. Not surprising. Yeah, no, not surprising not at all. Yet. But a great group of individuals uh, that you were able to highlight. So thank you again for allowing us to be a part of that. And thank you to Christopher Meharry for uh, providing those amazing photos for us to use today. All right, let's get to it, sir. You have a job to do. What can we catch in Des Moines this weekend? Got plenty of stuff to do. Labor Day weekend, yep. three-day yes. weekend. Yep. Get out and enjoy it. Number one, uh, great event happening down at the Iowa Events Center all weekend long. Meals from the yes, Heartland. absolutely. 12th annual Hunger Fight. This is a family uh, event. You take your kids, or it's recommended that they're at least five years old, but you'll be stuffing and packaging meals uh, that'll go to underprivileged countries and what have you all, or, all across the world. Um, their, their goal is to do four million meals right. by the That's end of the weekend. So. I think yeah. they can do a lot of people posting it. about being there. Uh, we encourage you to go to their website, mealsfromtheheartland.org, so you can sign up for a time slot. If you can give a couple hours of your time over the next few days, Give a couple of dollars because it's going to make a huge difference. That's right. That's exactly right. Uh, Farmer's Market tonight at yes. Historic Valley Junction. Always a great event on Thursday night. Runs 4 to 8.30. Uh, bring your friends and neighbors and check out music, great foods, uh, flowers, plants, crafts, produce, et cetera, et cetera. And then in conjunction with that, all weekend long is Taste of the Junction. Oh, nice. Okay. And now Friday night's going to be a different night. That's uh, actually going to happen at uh, Valley High School Performing Arts Center lobby. Nice. And they'll have uh, video storytelling, um, community potluck, just lots of fun things happening there on Friday night. Then all day Saturday, uh, from, or actually all afternoon into the evening from 1 to 10 on Saturday, free event. You can join uh, Great musicians, uh, Something Do will yep. be performing. Tony Something Valdez, do. large band. Nice, yeah, he's and, great. And if you haven't, if you've never seen Something Do, this guy's great too. Yeah, Excellent. great yeah. performer. So check that out, Historic Valley Junction. Friday night, five dollar family night at the Science Center of Iowa. Always Perfect. a fun event for the family. Um, enjoy food. Kids can uh, run through the exhibits and uh, get some hands-on experience. Um, Labor Day Patio Fest is at Confluence Brewing on Friday through Monday. Uh, this is noon to nine each day. You can join Confluence Brewing uh, 
A variety of food trucks will be featured each day, live music through the weekend, including Brother Trucker, nice. Stuttering Jimmy, Love perfect, it. the Goosebumps, nice. and the Goosebumps, and yeah, Stuttering more. Jimmy, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Should be a fun event. I was going to say, great way to celebrate getting your weekend started, but there's still some things happening on Saturday and Sunday. You bet. Saturday, uh, you can head down to Indianola to Somerset Winery, the 22nd Annual Harvest Celebration. This is where you can stomp grapes, you can actually pick grapes, really get hands-on experience on how uh, wine is actually created. Um, you can, uh, you'll get a, a unique uh, experience along with some special prizes and what have you. So nice. 30, 30 bucks will get you in the door there. Now, if you've got your tights dusted off, Ooh. put them on, folks. Because it's the 14th <laughs> Annual Renaissance Fair. Lou, Lou always likes to throw the tights oh, on. It is the it? time, Not yes. just this weekend, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, happens Saturday through Monday, 11 to 6.30. This is a family-friendly event. Entertainment on 10 stages. They have the Pirate Cove, Viking Encampments, Royal Court, all kinds of fun things right. at Sleepy so Hollow Sports Park. So much fun. All right, and Sunday. Sunday, Petals and Pints for Patriots. Okay. That's happening at Fox <laughs> Brewing. You start off at Fox Brewing, it runs 1 to 8, and you'll uh, venture from Fox Brewing to the Chicken to Confluence Brewing to 515 Brewing, and then back to Fox Brewing for food, live music, and more libations. And plenty of other things going on on Sunday. To get more details on everything happening in Des Moines, where do we go, Mr. Edward? You go to catchdesmoines.com. No, I said Mr. Edward. Thank you. The S's are, are silent. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 minutes past 7 o'clock. This is Iowa Live.